Hello, in this video, we will show the logistic polynomial regression analysis using Google Sheet Linus. And here we have a data set where you have a total of 20, 20, our population will be 20 for this one. So that's 20 rows, rows. And we'll show the equation of this data set using the chart, the scatter chart, which is cert chart. And we'll use the scatter chart. We will show the row one as headers and column A as labels. And we'll use the, we'll show the scatter chart. Then we show the equation of this, the trend line equation. As a polynomial raised to the power three, so that's the third degree. So here's our equation, negative 0.157 plus 0.205x plus 0.0229x squared minus 3.51 exponent negative three x cube. We will also show the r squared value, which is r equals 0.476. We will calculate these values, these coefficients, and r squared using the matrix operation. So here, here we have our trend line, and our values are here for the 1 and the 0 values are here. So we calculate the coefficients of that make up the trend line equation. So we begin with the 1x matrix. So we start with a 1 column. That's for the x to the power 0. And then followed by the x to the power 1, which is our a formula of the x values. Next, we fill up the x, col the x squared column, which is x to the power 2. Fill up the x, x squared column and we fill up the x cube column x to the power 3 3 so that's the this is the x cube column now that we have the 1x matrix we can perform the linux from here so we start we can call, calculate the coefficients using the Linus. So Linus, because it's now in the linear form of data y, comma, and our data x will be this area, this range. And we will show the full statistics. So we have a total of 14 outputs. We will calculate each output. We use the Pijarina inverse matrix, which is M inverse M mult transpose of the one X matrix and itself. So we have the p Jarina inverse matrix. Then we calculate the p Jarina cofactor matrix, which is a mult transpose of the 1x matrix and the y values. Now that we have the p inverse and the p cofactor, we multiply both and mult this matrix and the cofactor. And we have the coefficients. So the coefficient b0 matches to our Linus output, b1.205 matches to our Linus output, b2.0229 matches to our Linus output, and B3 matches to our Linus output. 
B1 also matches to our 0.157, which is here. B, that's B0, 0 0.157, B1, 0 0.205, which is this one, and B2, 0 0.0229, which is this one, this coefficient, and the last is uh, 0 0.0351. If this is in the exponent form, we could just change it to the exponent form, the scientific form. There you have it negative 3.51 exponent to the minus 3. Now that we have calculated the coefficients, we start completing the, the, the rest of the outputs. We begin with the residual sum of square, where from here you can calculate the, the estimated y hat. So calculating the estimated y hat, So it is uh, it is equal to a mult of the one x matrix and the coefficients. That's our estimated y hat. Now that we have the estimated y, we can now calculate the residual sum of square, which is equal to sum x m sum x sum squares of the difference of y and y hat. The estimate y. That's 0.2167, which matches to our Linus output. Next, we calculate the degrees of freedom of denominator, which is equal to uh, rows minus columns, or the, the columns of our data set. 16. Again, this matches to our Linus output. Now we can calculate for stay x, which is equal to the square root of the residual sum of square divided by degrees of freedom of the denominator. 0 0.40449 matches to our Linus output. Now we can calculate for the standard error coefficients, which is starting with B0. This is equal to uh, stay x times square root of the first uh, three point five nine one. Again, this matches to our Linus output. B one will be square root of stay x, or this is stay x times square root of this value, the blue one, 0 0.7861 matches to this. Next, we calculate for B2, which is, again, stay x times square root of uh, the red one, 0 0.29831 matches to the, to the Linus output. And last, this is stay x times square root of this value and this matches to our Linus output. Next, we can calculate for the uh, total sum of square, which is equal to n times variance of the population, warp of y, which is this. Enter, we have five. Now we, can, we have the total sum of square, we can calculate the regression sum of square, which is equal to TSS minus RSS, residual sum of square. T total sum of square minus residual sum of square. Now we can calculate for the R square, which is equal to ESS 
divided by TSS. So our ESS matches to our Linus output, 2.38182, and our R squared matches to our chart, 0.476 and 0.476 in the Linus output. Now we calculate for the F statistic, which is equal to First, we have the ESS divided by the degree of freedom of the den denominator, a numerator, which is one, two, three. There are three, three independent variables. Next, we calculate for the denominator part of the F statistics, which is RSS divided by degree of freedom of the denominator. 4.853 matches to our Linus output. And that completes the logistic polynomial regression.